A little tip, perhaps, if you're interested in scalping, because um, the markets are quite uncertain at the moment, perhaps you might be interested in just dipping in and out. A little good tip that I got from Jay Plays Footsie, uh, a lady trader, a lady trader, female trader, and uh, I, on Twitter, and she does this on the weekends, and she does this on Bitcoin, and it's, she's had good success. Now, what she was saying is that price always comes down to the volume node. And what it does, it does, um, it moves higher or lower over time. So what happens is that when you look at a large time frame, or the hourly, say, uh, it zigzags a lot, obviously, because you've got like permutations. And what happens is that it gravitates towards the volume node. And um, so while, while you're thinking it's going sideways, it's actually being pushed up by volume. So even though it's coming down, it'll hit support and then it'll just pump again and then the volume node will come higher and then uh, you know we'll come down hit that support up we go and so you can use this as a stop loss and uh, if you're short then you can use it as a TP but however because we've got the super trend it has like a bullish bias on the S&P so just a little uh, hit up there and also um, you can hear birds in the background, I, I apologise for that, but they are shorting it against the 21 moving average, so as long as they continue to sell it, you know, we can come up. So um, we should expect price to fall in order to convince the retail guys that we are going to fall. If we go up, then they'll go long. So we have to think outside the box, right? So we welcome price to fall but hopefully not to break the lows, right? So we want to scare them out of their positions. So it would make sense that we'd come down to test this volume node, a 4154, it's 20 points away. And what happens over time that the, this red line, this park point of control, it will get higher, like it just did. And it will go higher over time. And the higher up it goes, the closer we'll get to the support. And so we'll dump to the support and then we'll bounce. Okay, so um, little tip there, just a one minute time frame. I look at this a little bit and uh, you'll see this coming up higher. And it, the reason and the rationality for the zigzagging, because it's basically coming down to price discovery. This is where the value is currently. So price comes down to seek value. And this is where the largest buyers and sellers are located. So we come down to satisfy them and to annoy the longs and to uh, console the bears. So uh, it's like a, like a magnet level, I guess you could say. So I'm expecting price to fall down here, then that will convince the retail guys that we're falling. And of course, over time, when, when the buyers step in, then the, this uh, volume line is gonna be higher and it will bounce off it and it will go higher. So that's, that's the idea anyway. So um, keep an eye on 4155. And I suspect we'll come down there and it will be like a uh, cloak and dagger ruse, I think. But we'll have to wait and see. So it's a good tip and uh, see what you think. So one minute time frame, volume profile and using the super trend. And that's that. So let's see how we go.